If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. There is also a new pack feature on the site, so make sure to try that out. Hey guys, Ice Carrot here, and today I'm going to show you so many players you can snipe right now. You have until the new Fatma Squad Builder Challenge do end, so you have four days to use these sniper filters. And there are so many players you can snipe, there's basically 100 players, and you might have seen a video I've done previously. So if you actually take a look at the Squad Builder Challenges, I did a video covering all of these, so if you want to know how to do any of these Squad Builder Challenges for cheap, make sure to check it out on my channel. But we are looking at the Team of the Week Guarantee Squad Builder Challenges, because to complete these challenges, you need an 84 or rated team, and that is for both challenges if you take a look at the other one as well, 84 rated team. So if you did not know the formula to get 84 rated team is 284 rated players, 883 rated players and 180 rated player. So basically on the market, any 83 or 84 rated player has risen up a shed load in price and then you can just snipe them so easily. So there is a list in the description down below. It's a link to Futbin for a list of all of the 84 and 83 rated players with their prices. You can snipe any player who is 84 or 83 rated right now. It doesn't matter who you pick. You can snipe any of them. And that's the good thing about this method because you guys should be able to snipe your own player. Just pick any player from the list and it will work. So if we actually take a look at the price of Sommer. A couple of days ago, I think it was on Boxing Day, his price was about 1.6 thousand coins. And if we take a look now, He's going for almost, he's going for over 5,000 coins, which is absolutely mad. Well, last night he was around 5k, he's going for 6.9 thousand coins right now. So if people didn't notice, they will still be listing him up for 1.5k. So all you need to do, whenever you're sniping a card, you need to find what you're selling the card for. As you guys normally know, so Soma, we will sell him for 6.8k and we get back 6.4 thousand coins. So I'm just going to try and snipe for Soma for under 6,000 coins and then you just get sniping. And cards do pop up quite regularly, not like too regularly. It just depends on the player and the time you're doing this because I'm sniping quite early on in the morning. But you need to be quick on these cards because there aren't too many people sniping each player. But they just sell really quick because the profit margin you can make is absolutely mad. I would recommend actually doing the sniping filter around when you packs are dropped. So maybe 6pm tonight if EA release more packs. Do this filter because then when people are opening the packs they'll be getting these 84 rated players. 83 rated players and they'll pop up a lot more i do find that the 83 rated players pop up a lot more compared to the 84 it's just the amount of profit you can make on the 84 cards per card is a lot more because since these cards are worth like near 7,000 coins each if you pick them up for like their minimum you're going to be making a mad profit well literally no one is listing up a summer right now i'm going to try for a bit more and then i'm going to show you an 83 rated player pick up some snipes on them and then I'm going to show you two like combined filters which is probably the best ones to do because you can actually search two different players at once. So the 83 rated player I'm going to snipe is Vertonghen because he's going for around 3,000 coins. Most players for these ratings are around that price and if you actually look on the list on Fatbin it actually shows you the price on each console as well. So we're going to sell our card for 3.1 thousand coins so we want to pick up a Vertonghen at 2.8k or lower. And then we get sniping, and I have faith that people will list up a Vertonghen 83 rated card. Somebody should list one up. I know it's quite early on in the morning, and not too many people are actually listing up these higher rated cards. But some should get listed up, and we should be able to make some profit. 2.9, Vertonghen. Oh, we missed him out. A lot more cards are getting listed up now. Let's keep going. Vertonghen, somebody list up another one for 2.9, or a bit cheaper. I saw one earlier for like 1.5k and that would have been a mad, mad profit. So hopefully we can actually pick one up or at least see some other cheap cards on the market. Seems like a lot more people are listing up the cards right now. But the EA servers have just been really, really slow recently. Like from last night, just everything seems really slow. Here we go. 2.9. Oh, we missed it. How? I was quick on that snipe. How did I miss that one? Okay, we're going to keep going. Hopefully pick up the next Vatongan card. The EA servers are just feeling pretty slow. Next card, I'm gonna get it. Come on, Vertonghen. Somebody, here we go. 1.4! I was so slow, but that right there is a 1.6k profit. You guys can see why these sniper filters are good, and it worked with any 83 or 84 rated player. Vertonghen's just an example. He was literally like the first one I picked. And remember to use the link in the description down below for the list. I'm gonna go and snipe, see one more card to get listed up, see what profit we can make. 
and then we'll move on to the multiple filters which are probably even better than the single ones 2.9 oh how did we miss that one okay that's enough for Tom and for one day now moving on to the multiple filters the first one you might have seen before it's in the Bundesliga you want to go Bundesliga then you want to go to Bayern Munich which I went straight past you want to put the position to midfielder the nation to Spanish search gold and as you can see you can pick up Thiago who isn't actually in packs anymore because his informs in packs but people are still listing up his old card and uh, and Jabby Alonso so you want to find the minimum buying out of both of them it's going to be around the 6,000 high 7,000 coin mark as you can see here 6.9k for these cards so you want to be listing them up for about 6.8k to make some decent profit so like again you want to pick it up at 6.3k or lower like we did earlier and then you get sniping and these multiple filters are probably the best ones to do however after watching this video a load of you guys will probably go and try these filters so it might be quite hard for you to pick up some of the cards and also you just need cards to get listed up because right now early in the morning not too much is happening i might have to wait till later to get some good snipes in but just i don't think too many people are listening up here we go 6.3k tiago we missed that card there I'm feeling pretty slow on the snipe this morning. Uh, hopefully we can pick one up for cheap. I think earlier I managed to pick some up for like 5,000 coins on the snipe. Making like a 1k profit per card. Which is mad. And if people list them up for that old price. Which are like 3,000 coins. You can actually make like 3k, 4k per card. The other multiple snipe you feel. If you want to go gold, arsenal. You want to put the position to centre back. And then the nation to Germany. And if we take a search here. You can pick up Murtasaka and Mustafi. They're both going for around 3,000 coins. They're 83 rated players, as you can see. And these are quite easy to pick up on the snipe. BPL players as well, they just seem to always get listed up a lot more compared to the other leagues. So we're going to sell our cards for about 3.4 thousand coins. So we want to pick up our cards for about 3.1k or cheaper. And then again, we get sniping. So 83 rated cards, two cards in this filter. This is probably the one where the most cards do pop up just because you're searching two cards. There's already Mustafi there. We missed out on it there. That would have just been a 200 coin profit. Not too big, but again, like that card popped up quite quickly. And it's still early in the morning. Not too many cards are actually being listed up. This is probably the best filter if you want to try the best one. However, so many people are going to try this filter, like I'll say. Just go and pick your own play from the list that is in the description. And I'll put it in the comment section as well. So you're going to keep sniping. Hopefully manage to pick one up on the snipe. I'm being really slow on the snipes today. It's just this morning, I think. Maybe later on I might do some sniping and then put the footage into this video. But we're going to keep going here. Hopefully see another card. And then we can make ourselves a nice bit of profit. This probably is one of the best filters you can do right now. Hopefully we can make a load of profit and pick up a load more cards. For Torun, we didn't get much luck with... I've just skipped out the Tiago one. You don't want to see that. You want to see the best filter right now. And it's probably this one. Here we go. 3.1. Murta Saka. And we didn't get him. That was close. Could have made a bit of profit on Murta Saka. Because he's worth a couple more coins more than Mustafi. Here's another one. Mustafi. 3,000 coins. I was fast on that snipe. I don't know how I missed that one. And the next card will be ours. You guys will find that trying these sniping filters. It is quite hard to pick up some cards. But if you're not picking up one card... Just move on to a different player because there's so many players you can pick from, remember. And this one, multiple filter, two players, twice the chance to pick up a snipe. 2.2, no, I missed it up. Mustafi there, that could have been like a 1k profit. We're going to keep going. Hopefully actually pick up a card this video. I don't know why, but my sniping today has just been awful. Sometimes you just have an off day and I guess that is today because I can't pick anything up. But we're going to keep on going. Hopefully pick up some cards. And for snipey filters right now, this is probably like the only one. We're getting thrown out of Bartman team. We'll be back in a minute. As I was saying, this is probably like the only good snipey filter right now. You could try some inform cards, but there's no like marquee matchup stuff. This is like the main squad builder challenge, just snipe cards. When there are the new marquee matchups, which should come out tomorrow, hopefully I'll bring you some more snipey filters then. So stay tuned for that and make sure to drop a like on this video if you are enjoying it. Here we go. 3.1, Mustafi, I don't, I don't know how I'm not picking these up. I'm going to keep going. I'm like, I'm not too slow on the snipe. I don't really know what is going on, to be honest. This is the one, 2.2, and, and we miss it again. 1k profit night there. I guess we're not going to be making that today. Keep going. The next card is going to be ours. Here we go, 2.9. 
we still didn't pick it up. We still didn't pick it up. Let's keep going. This is the one. 2.5. Did we get it? Did we get it? Nope. <laughs> Shut down. Right there. EA, EA do not want us to get a card. Okay. One more card. This is the one. 1.6k. Mertzaka. I'm out. On that note. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel for the latest squad builder challenges, sniping filters, trading tips. Everything on the lines of that. And I want to say a massive thank you for the support last night. It was absolutely mad. I know I did upload like five videos covering all the squad builder challenges. But since then, we've already gained like 400 brand new subscribers. So welcome everybody new to the channel. I hope you're liking the content. There should be another video up later today. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you on the next video.